Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the fourth video of Apache Storm. Uh, in this video, uh, I'll be discussing one of the use cases of Apache Storm, uh, the two real-time analytics, right? Uh, I have already mentioned in the first video the different use cases of Apache Storm. So one of the uh, uh, predominant uh, use case is that how the uh, Apache Storm can be used for real-time analytics. So the best use case I've taken for today's like uh, this video is Twitter. So the title is how does the Twitter compute trends and how uh, wh what role the Apache Storm plays in it. Okay, let's start with it. So uh, if you're a user of uh, Twitter, you must know there is a one important feature of Twitter, which is trending tweets. Like uh, one can see what is happening around the globe just by looking at the, uh, uh, at the trending uh, tweet feature. So this trending tweet feature changes like uh, like like every second or every minute. So how the uh, Apache Storm can like uh, address that issue? Like because we need to save the state as well. What what was happening in the past and what is happening right now? So how the Apache Storm can help you in it? So this is the today's uh, topic. Uh, this is the one example uh, which I have quoted here is you, which you can see on the screen. Like the the trending tweets is changing after every few minutes, right? You can see at 9 p.m. that there was a like a different uh, trending tweet which was Golden Globe Awards. It changed to maybe some uh, some other personality in the 9:30 p.m. So it means there's a like quite a frequent change here. It's not a periodic change. So it means we need to take care uh, of every minute what is happening uh, like uh, in the trending tweet feature and how the Apache Storm can help you in it. So we'll discuss today. So, uh, as I've already quoted in the uh, previous videos, we already have already have explained the difference between batch and stream, right? Um, as I've already mentioned, that for batch, the the best uh, framework that we have is Apache Hadoop, in which uh, we can tolerate the uh, uh, the time, right? Time, there's no time constraint over there. It means there's no uh, way that uh, we need to give the response frequently. Okay, in which we can wait for the uh, for the publishing of the results. But in the case of stream, this is not the case. In the case of the uh, Apache Storm, we need to present the result at the same time. So you can see here, like uh, we have some tweets available at 9.21 to 9.29 p.m. And we have a Twitter app uh, which needs to compute that uh, that tweets because let's suppose I need to give some insights that what happened in the last 10 minutes. So in the case of batch processing, uh, we will be having little delay as well, which will be in the form of processing delay, right? It's, it means like let's suppose uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking for the insights for uh, for last 10 minutes, and uh, maybe the I also take two extra minutes for processing those uh, tweets. It means there'll be total a delay of 12 minutes in the case of batch, but in the case of stream, you can see the trends at the 9:10 because uh, as the names as I've already mentioned that. Uh, that the Apache Storm was meant for stream processing. It means the data which is coming, it needs to process the data at the same time. We can't tolerate any delay. It means that we have a, some time constraint available here as well. Uh, as you can see here, that in the case of batch, let's suppose we started at 9 p.m. We collect tweets for that last 10 minutes. and But for this, for processing, we will be having little latency. Let's suppose it is of two minutes. It means you can see the first trend at 9.12 right and this this will be periodic in nature like maybe now I, i'm checking the uh, first trends at 9 12 the next trend maybe after 12 minutes so it is a periodic in nature but the thing is that this two minute delay is quite a, a, a big a big uh, thing that which we need to reduce okay uh, for this th for that purpose only the apache uh, storm came into the picture there was a little uh, drawback of apache hadoop that th th there's a delay in it so that's why uh, apache uh, uh, Storm came to came to rescue uh, in that in, in that kind of situation, right? So in the case of stream processing, again we started at 9 p.m. But now you can see here on the screen now, right now is that we can see the first trend at 9 10 p.m. only. It means there'll be no delay. It means at the real time we will be giving the results, right? As soon as I'm getting that record from the uh, from the spout or from any external source, I need to process that uh, record at the same moment. Okay, so this is the advantage that I'm getting from the Apache Storm. It means we are processing each tweet as it comes in. Okay, there'll be no delay at all. Okay, so in the case of stream processing, so we get the most recent real-time view, uh, as I've already mentioned in the previous uh, slide here, that uh, we need to process data as soon as it comes, right? Uh, and uh, next moment, next point is that we we need to react to the events immediately, because it is the nature of Apache Storm, right? Okay, so. This is the one scenario uh, we have taken here. Let me uh, zoom out to, so that you can see the view. 
let's suppose we have a events now uh, as i'm we are talking in the uh, in the terms of twitter so we have a events in the form of tweets so we have some data source from where uh, like it is emitting some events right so how to process that events how to process those tweets so uh, as i've already mentioned that uh, the apache storm the basic data unit that we follow in the apache storm is tuple right so how the apache storm now gonna uh, process those events it has been mentioned below so uh, there must be a, a stream processing app okay which will be processing those uh, events which is coming from any source and you can see here that the color has been changed just to let you know that uh, it has it is a processed one the the events which you can you are seeing on the right side of the stream processing app are the processed one and the 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 events which are in blue in color which are the raw data so we need to process that data right so we have a stream processing app which 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 need to react those events at the same moment so here's we have a concept of apache storm okay so there's a one uh, very bigger problem in it uh, because you all know that the the data which we are getting from twitter is at very rapid rate right so we need some uh, app which can which can react immediately but still uh, like uh, we'll be having some little gap also you can see on the screen also like uh, there's a little gap uh, before the data which is in which is coming in from any source but the gap has been increased after processing because i can't uh, like i can't uh, process all the tweets at the same time it means uh, if if i need to process in that way then we need to work in a distributed fashion so that will be having a par parallel computation as uh, you must know in the case of apache hadoop also it follows the same model apache hadoop also supports the parallel processing so that uh, like uh, so that we can able to reduce that time because if we have a bigger uh, or uh, we have a higher time uh, in the processing then like the the client will be getting result after a delay which is not the case right that's the, the, the whole purpose of the uh, using apache storm goes in vain so the question is how we can reduce or how we can uh, reduce that time right for this if the processing time is greater than the event arrival uh, event arrival rate then the result will be delayed right the whole purpose of using the uh, apache storm will be compromised so how because in the on the left side you can see on the screen is the events gone gonna pile up right so we need some uh, intermediate thing which can process those events in parallel so here comes the apache uh, storm to rescue okay so how we can reduce the processing time the next question for this we have the concept of distributed processing right in which what we'll be doing is we'll be having we'll be dividing the the stream which is coming coming in in the form of events or in the in the form of tweets we need to distribute that streams to the multiple components so that we can we can we can generate the results in lesser time because in the previous case if we are working in a serial fashion the the data or the results will be delayed right but uh, if we are working in distributed fashion the data will be uh, or the results will be given in lesser time this this is what is apache storm is all about you can see here is that that's the reason we are using apache storm in which we'll be dividing the stream into multiple uh, uh, components and every component needs to needs to uh, like uh, do its work or <clears throat> it's a kind of a divide and conquer that we divide the bigger task into smaller task and every component has to do with the smaller task so that the the whole result will be uh, given to the client in lesser time okay so last uh, just to end this uh, 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 this video i'm just taking the same example as i've already mentioned in the previous video the building blocks of the apache storm we have discussed about the spout we have discussed about the bolt these are these uh, the basic components of the uh, apache storm cluster you can see here is like let's suppose i need to now check uh, i need to um, uh, check that how many time a word or tweet is appearing on the twitter so this is the scenario we need to follow the implementation of it will be discussed in the later videos when we have when we'll using some ide or we'll be using some java code to process it let's discuss in a like in a informal way right now is that we have a spout which is emitting some uh, streams of data uh, which will be forwarded to the first bolt because we can have as i've already mentioned that there can be a multiple instance of a bolts we can only have a single spout but we can have a multiple number of bolts so one bolt will do its own task let's suppose the first bolt which we have defined as split bolt will be splitting the the sentences into smaller words and the next bolt which is a count bolt will be uh, like counting the number of words which has been given by the split bolt at the end the sort bolt will be sorting the results right this is how it works in the topology so like if we if we talk about in more uh, detailed way 
uh, because as I've already mentioned in the previous uh, slide that we need to work in distributed fashion. So we can have a multiple instance of split board, we can have a multiple instance of count board, but we'll be having a centralized instance of sort board because sorting will be, it's a final step, right? You all know that sorting will be done if we have counted all the boards. So it can't be done in a parallelized fashion. But we can process the splitting. We can we can do the counting in parallel in a parallel fashion. So the results will be uh, declared in lesser time. But the sorting will be only be done if we have finalized the counting. It that's the reason that we don't have any parallelization in the sort board. But we have a parallelization in the split and a count board. This is how it works, right? And topology, you all know, topology is nothing but arrangement of spouts and bolts, right? So uh, just to like end this. Uh, particular lecture on concluding this is how it works like let's suppose we have uh, some some uh, tweets which are coming uh, through the spout and then we need to uh, like uh, uh, we need to work on the split board which will be dividing the sentences into smaller words and that words uh, will be uh, processed in in a parallel via count board and it will be generating the number of words and when we have all the counts are available with us then we'll be applying the sort board to process it it means like in in in, uh, in in if you are working with the tweets or the trending tweets uh, processing, still we have a functionality of spouts and bolts coming in, right? So we can have a multiple instances of a split board, we can have a multiple instances of count board, but we'll be having a single instance of the spout here. I hope um, uh, this is clear with uh, with you. And if if you are uh, have any confusion or any questions, I'm open on all the uh, confusion. I I will I'll, I'll be addressing the questions uh, raised by you. I hope uh, you have understood this. Uh, let's meet in the next video, which is video 5. Thanks.